everyone. I want to welcome you here today. And um, my name is Josh Lean. I am the Well Campus Minister in Aurora. And today I have with me Joe and Amanda Fowler. Uh, I connected with them um, as they are leaders at the Well Aurora with me. And today they are going to share their story of victory and, uh, and some about their new life in Christ. And I'm so excited to have them here today. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate having Thank you. Thank you for having us here. I have a few questions for you today that I want to ask. The first one is this, guys. Um, was there a time in your life that you were struggling with defeat or, or really stuck in like a death mentality? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I would say that probably the first 30 years of my life was probably where that's where I was at. Yeah. Um, you know, I had a pretty rough childhood where I, you know, I ended up having, being and just living with a lot of depression and anxiety. And, you know, I found sol solace from that in mm. drugs and alcohol um, and stayed there for many, many years. Um, definitely went through a lot while I was in there in that mm -hmm. life. Um, yeah. What about you, Amanda? Um, I would say that I grew up a lot of feeling unworthy, um, mm. a lot of isolation. Um, you know, I pretty much grew up by myself. My mom was gone a lot. I just did whatever I wanted and led to drinking and partying mm. and so forth. Mm. Well, let me ask you a question. Both of you guys are honestly kind of on a separate path. You know, where you guys were both struggled individually with drugs and alcohol and that lifestyle, that addiction lifestyle. Um, how did you guys end up meeting each other? Um, we actually met in 2016. Um, I was staying with a friend in Springfield. I had been homeless. Um, I lost my son. Um, just was still drinking. Um, that's all I had after I lost my son was just drinking. Um, mm -hmm. And we actually met at Nationwide um, Settlement Solutions. Um, mm -hmm. Just joking around, I asked him to marry me, and nine months later, here we are. <laughs> we're married. Actually, it's been three years now. Amen. Yeah, and uh, for me, you know, I, I had come to Springfield to get into the core program, mm -hmm. and I got sober for um, about 14 months. And But I just, you know, I didn't learn how to do it in the real world. I only mm -hmm. did it in the program. And so when I left, things fell apart pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And uh Turned back to drinking, and um, I stayed there for two and a half years. I mm -hmm. was drunk every day and mm -hmm. just completely lost. And we ended up meeting each other. You know, the two of us were lost, but when we came together, somehow, even though we were still drinking, we knew that we wanted something better. Mm -hmm. uh, we knew that, you know, God had, you know, He could He could fix us. And uh, it took about a year and a half, about a year, year and a half of us struggling, trying to stay sober together. You know, before we finally end up having to. Uh, throw our hands up and surrender and get into a program and start trying to do things the right way, you know. Amen. And I, you know what I like is I love that word that they, you used was surrender. Surrender, surrender, surrender. Let me ask you guys a question. Since you have surrendered to Jesus, how is um, that continual surrender in your life, how has that led to a life of victory? Uh, there's, I mean, it would take me too long to explain everything, but, uh, you know, <laughs> just to start out, you know, when we first got sober, right before we got sober, we couldn't be in the same room together, um, you know, and then surrendering and trying to do things different and do it in his way. Um, you know, we ended up living apart for quite a while, but just right off the bat, it seemed within the first couple of months of us starting to focus on our relationship with him apart, uh, we were able to come together and just things started over and with, with a freshness and with a peace. And, uh, you know, it ended up, you know, we just kept surrendering and doing whatever we were asked to do. And, uh, you know, I, the whole time I was praying for him to use us for his will. And uh, within three months, we were managing houses. And uh, we just, you know, after the year when we were done, we thought to ourselves, we need to get out on our own and mm -hmm. do this and do that. Um, but nothing was coming together. And there were times when we were struggling. We were, you know, just felt like, why is it this coming together? But mm -hmm. we just felt like, you know, he's got us here for a reason. Mm -hmm. And so we just surrendered again and um you know two years into it you know a little less than two years into it we were put into a position with an amazing roof over our heads um you know just having the ability to be able to give back every day to the program that helped us and to the church now and uh just things are amazing amen how about you amanda what was the question? so the question is about how is the continual surrender in, in the life with jesus led to victory in your life um i think the biggest thing for me um was just being still mm. and being able to give my will to him and not do it my way That's anymore. Good. And it took a while for me to get to that point, but I just kept doing the next best thing and kept giving it all to him. Mm. And you know, 
audience, you guys are listening out there. These guys are um, leaders in, in in the Well Aurora um, with me down there. We uh, we actually we, we planted this church and we, we were able to launch this church and they've been with us every step of the way. Joe um, does uh, does the worship. Amanda helps out on the prayer team and photography and with the kids and with volunteering, coordinating and all kinds of stuff she does. And um, let me ask you guys a question. What role would you say the well, specifically the Well Aurora, has um, has played in your story of victory? Um, you know, it's it's given me more purpose than I've ever had in my life. Um, you know, I've been playing music for 13 years, and uh, first, I guess, 12 years of it, I would never have be able to sit in front of you know more than just a few people on a campfire and feel mm. comfortable to play music. Um, and she pushed me for a long time yeah. to you know use my gift, and the opportunity showed showed up where they needed my help at SRCC mm -hmm. uh, a year about a year ago, and that was when it started. And then. When I was asked, when you asked me to be a part of the or the Well Aurora, I just felt like that was God finally, you know, here's, I want you to do this. And it's given me a lot of purpose and Amen. a lot of peace. I love it. Uh, Amen. Yeah. How about you, Amanda? Uh, it's given me that sense of self-worth that I've always looked mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. um, like Joe says, a purpose. Mm -hmm. um, it's just nice to be able to reach out to people and to bring them to where we are. Yes, I love that. I love it. I love it. And I am so encouraged by both of your guys' walk. You're willing to submit and surrender to whatever it is around you, saying, God, whatever you want, that's what I want. And you guys being willing to lay down and do that. And I'm watching. There's a scripture that talks about if you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, at the proper time, he will exalt you. And I've got to watch that come to fruition in your li guys' life. You guys are amazing, and I appreciate you guys, and I love you guys. This is our story of victory, guys. Um, hope you liked it, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.